Who would have imagined that just offshore Ghana lies one of the biggest oil fields known to Africa? The story begins in downtown Dallas, United States, and a small group of individuals with a passion for finding oil. Cosmos is a company formed at the beginning of the decade to find oil. It's what we do. We find oil, and we generally find oil in some of the most difficult places to look for oil on the planet. The easy oil that's been found, the hard oil, the difficult oil, is where the future lies. And that's what Cosmos is focused on, finding difficult oil. Cosmos is no ordinary company. We are small, nimble, move quickly, and most importantly, our business focus is on those areas which most companies have no interest in. It's a talented, tightly knit and highly motivated team. We have some of the best and brightest people in the industry, trained by all the majors, but they've come to Cosmos to do what they really do best, which is find oil. It's an exploration team that literally has been together for years and years. Um, we all just love um, geology and geophysics, um, and on top of that, looking for oil. We have a lot of fun together. Um, everybody expects a lot out of each other, um, and everybody delivers. In 1999, the group developed the Sabre Oil Fields Offshore Equatorial Guinea in a record 13 months. Despite its small size, Cosmos Energy is known and respected by governments and business leaders around the world. In 2008, they were named Oil Finders of the Year, and they are backed by two of the world's largest private equity firms, Warburg Pinkers and Blackstone Capital Partners. But that's where convention ends. I think we're very good at what we do. Uh, we, we think independently, so I guess we are unconventional thinkers in that we don't follow the pack. Well, we these gauges up here. We see Cosmos something. thrives on risk, and Ghana provided precisely the challenge they were looking for. We were looking for countries that wanted our skill set. And what Ghana, I think, recognized, and GNPC particularly recognized, was the expertise of the Cosmos team. We brought all those people, all those skills, that record for success in a high-risk environment, that we had used in Equatorial Guinea, we brought that same team, that same skill set to Ghana. At considerable risk, for years, the biggest and the best in the industry had been looking for oil offshore. Over 80 exploration wells were drilled, and not one of them produced commercial oil. And when Cosmos arrived here in 2004, fortunes had been lost, and the industry was leaving in droves. For us, what made Ghana very attractive was that there was numerous wells drilled, numerous wells that showed indications of hydrocarbons, oil and gas, um, but nobody quite figured out what this recipe for success was. And for us, it was very, very simple. When you, people had simply been looking in the wrong place. So what did it take to find oil in an area that the rest of the world had given up on? I think a lot of it's the technology, and it's, it's also the people who use the technology and the tools. It's the commitment. It's the willingness to look where others wouldn't look or had abandoned all hope. We think we can do a job that other people can't do. And, you know, I, I don't want to sound too boastful, but the reality is we did it in Ghana. It's all about the quality of information, he says. 3D seismic is, um, and it's not just the tool, it's the technician that uses or the scientist that uses it. It's a tool to see below the surface of the earth at depth. So in very deep water, it can see several miles below the bottom of the ocean, and it sends back sound waves. And that allows us to simulate a three-dimensional view of the Earth's crust. What you end up with is what we call a cube of data. And that cube of data starts at the sea, seabed and goes down through the rock formations that contain the oil field and allow you to see the shape of the subsurface. Uh, and then what you do to, to understand that is you draw cross-sections through the ice crust. It's like a, a jigsaw puzzle, it's like a, a, a detective investigation. You have certain pieces of information and you're trying to put it all together. And by putting together this puzzle, we can figure out what sort of rock it is. Does that rock contain hydrocarbons? Are those hydrocarbons gas or oil? Or is it, or is it water bearing? There's a saying that we particularly believe that oil is found in the mines of great scientists or great geologists and geophysicists. 
It's not found on a computer terminal. So far, we've been lucky, and everything that Cosmos has drilled has been successful. The company's faith in Ghana paid off. In June 2007, Cosmos struck gold. It was an incredibly exciting time. We had been working diligently for two years by then. GNPC was right at our side. They had people in our offices working with us. Their hopes were high. Our hopes were high. It was clear to us immediately that this was not any ordinary discovery. In August the same year, they made a second discovery, and in January 2009, a third. Early estimates showed the giant Jubilee field could contain reserves of up to 2 billion barrels of oil, propelling Ghana into the major league of oil-producing nations. And not only has Ghana been blessed with vast quantities of oil, but with quality oil too. Everybody will want it, because it's light, it's sweet, it's easy to refine, uh, it's um, a good crude oil. The other thing it's going to do is it's going to command a high dollar when it comes to going to market. So Jubilee is, is just this combination of an uh, incredible place to work, an incredible reservoir to deal with, and a fantastic oil. Uh, it's just the best of, of all worlds, really. You, you have to be here at that time to see, because it's all of a sudden a feeling of, we have arrived, we have arrived. And personally, it was at the moment when I feel this is the industry I want to be part of. It has the potential and the opportunity to turn the fortunes of a country around. All of a sudden, Ghana is going to find itself additional revenue stream that the government can use, utilize, to build on infrastructure in Ghana. It can improve upon education the transportation infrastructure, roads, hospitals, name it. So it's going to improve the life and the betterment of the average Ghanaian. And here's how. Firstly, Ghana owns 13.75% of all oil produced through GNPC. It then earns a further 5% through royalty, which increases to 15% based on the price of oil. This is known as additional oil entitlement. Add to that another 35% through corporate tax on the remaining profit. So even without including other taxes like VAT and NHIL, Ghana will receive well over half of all the revenue earned from oil. And this does not include the sum of $800 million to be earned from the gas delivered free of charge to GNPC. 